Good morning everybody. I'm wearing my Hort Root hat today. I've just entered the Hort Root Alps three day which takes place right at the end of June and uh, it's a complimentary entry because I'm an ambassador but so so grateful to be an ambassador and to have you know the chance of having a complimentary event entry to something like this you know something on this scale something with this level of support and as many of you will know if you've been following me for the last couple of years ever since like starting this youtube channel and and just exposing my exploits on the bike i've really wanted to have a shot at like alp Tuez, mont mont 2 like all these like major major climbs that everybody in cycling knows of the 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 mythical climbs grateful of the support of people that just allow me to pursue that while I still have the ability to pursue that. So all being well, I'm gonna go out to the Hort route at the end of June and I'm gonna stay out there a week uh, after the Hort route and I'm also gonna do the Marmot with with a bunch of mates as well. So I, I'm gonna be pretty, pretty well acclimatized to heat and a little bit of altitude as well, hopefully. So I'm gonna get a good stab at Alp d'Huez, fingers crossed. But um, but that's going to be the end of like phase one of of this season. I know I haven't kind of dissected this first phase yet. I've told you my goals for this first phase, but I haven't dissected sort of the the different cycles I'm going to go through in training and things to prepare me for these things. Did I ever tell you, by the way, that I have never actually raced up any of these famous climbs that people talk about in Europe? Like, never. So... This is why I'm so excited. But today is a little bit of back to normality. Uh, I'm doing month reviews for all the people that I coach. So I have a bunch of those to get through today. Um, that's gonna be my main job for the whole day. Um, there is some racing on TV, 11. We'll see if I can schedule things so that I can at least listen to it in the background because I'm still a massive fan of road racing. I love watching it, at least on TV. I don't like watching it in real life. I do want to get back to racing this year. I do really want to get back to racing, road racing. Speaking of which, I've got something to show you. So this came in the post. So actually, it's I should show you this because I know there's plenty of you who watch these videos who aren't from the UK, um, which is pretty incredible. One one look at the people who follow me on Strava, and I can see that there's just hundreds of you from around the world. But this this is my race license uh, it's sent out by British Cycling every year, and as far as I can tell, I'm still an elite category racer so yeah it's got your race categories and it's got like your uci code id whatever that is uh yeah well actually when i used to race for like jlt condo and other continental teams you used to have like multiple copies of these and you would only keep one because if you wanted to race like locally say if i wanted to race a, a criterium race just down the road then i would have yeah, a license to enter. But then my team manager would have like about three copies. So if ever like we were in a team car, we were going to a race, and I forgot mine, he would have one. And if we ever went abroad, then we'd always travel with spares. You know, when I make, when I try to make daily videos or daily content, I don't always necessarily think of it as like it has to be a whole day filmed. Um, like today, this video is just this morning because I have a bunch of things to do for the rest of the day and really I don't want to take my mind away from that. So that's why not every daily vlog is like a daily vlog. So I'm making myself a coffee, um, but I've already had breakfast, which was uh, like a whole avocado uh, on one slice of toast. Bread's on the floor. Um, this is white sourdough from Aldi. Um, and I had some chili flakes and some salt and it's just lovely. Got something pretty important coming up. So changing the way I eat, just on a very small scale at different times of the day. So today we start off with a lower carb breakfast, a higher fat breakfast. 
there's very little protein there obviously but I'll drip feed that throughout the day I'll aim to get probably around 80 to 100 grams of protein in today and for at least until probably just after lunchtime I'll focus on consuming more fats and carbohydrates and then afterwards uh, so from midday onwards I'll then start to consume my my daily carbohydrate intake I periodize it like that so that I kind of get a little bit of a um, a way of breaking myself into this thing without going like full on into the deep end uh, and I plan on training tomorrow morning so hence why I'm getting the carbohydrates in this afternoon I have to say these new Giro shoes have been a very worthwhile £300 investment. I need to shave my legs. Charlie's not a fan. She's so used to me having uh, smooth legs. So I will definitely need to shave them before Thursday before I go all the way up to Derby for some secret stuff that I can't tell you about just yet. Um, so I'm going to jump on and do a quick hour now on the bike. And then I'm going to tell you about this race I've entered. Okay, so here is lunch, or at least uh, post-ride meal anyway. It's uh, leftover greens risotto. There's like broccoli, peas. Um, I don't know exactly Charlie made it, but it is yummy. So just got done with my session. And it was just an hour. Um, intensity was like good enough for endurance. Played around with cadence. Nothing, uh, nothing intense at all. So um, up until that ride, I consumed 1,200 calories today. Um, uh, obviously, you saw what I had for breakfast. I was snacking on some pistachios, a crumpet with peanut butter, a Vela Forte mocha bar and a uh, harvest mode soft bake so that got me all the way up until the session I did the session just on water and now i am eating carbs predominantly for the rest of the day okay charlie's just finished uh team time trial on swift this evening uh she managed 177 watts for 40 minutes uh she was racing with the with the d's watts d team uh in back pedal and well, they all crushed it to be fair, but I think her week off last week has like really helped. Obviously, she's like super fresh now. She did manage to get a ride in on the weekend. You know, she's almost kind of started from scratch again in a way. So, yeah, it's nice to see almost every time she does these races, she set a new personal best in some way. Um, and speaking of racing, I did say at the start of this video that I'd entered a race. It's quite low on entry numbers at the minute, and I don't really want to advertise it, but I am advertising it. It's it's been run by my local cycling club, Binya Cycling Club, and uh, at the minute I think there's less than twenty entries. Uh, I think like they probably need more than fifty to make it viable. Uh, I've entered. I'm down to do it. It's a great little circuit. There's uh, there's an elite first second cat race I think, and a third and fourth category race. Um, and the elite race and the circuit's great there's only really three corners they're all pretty safe corners um in fact the whole course is pretty safe it's it's been run like in the middle of nowhere almost but um the circuit is on it's in near dravach and it it kind of it goes uphill gradually on one side but it's a sort of uphill that it just saps people's legs throughout the whole race and eventually it just wears people down and the descent the other side is pretty quick but it's like a straight straight road down to the bottom so if you're interested in doing a road race it's early season like middle of march late march and you fancy coming down the wheels and riding this um you know why not enter i'll put the link down in the description you know if you're in the elite race with me then you know it'd be great to have someone to team up with maybe um but yeah uh let's see if we can fill the race up and, and get a local race off the ground anyway i want to thank you so much for watching everybody please remember to like and comment and subscribe uh, if you like to and uh, i'll see you in the next one